Do you feel like every time you use this, you feel like you're putting in so much effort and really not getting the reward from hitting it? Then today what I'm gonna do is show you why that's occurring. It'll be because your swing's out of sequence and I'll explain that in the video. Hi, my name's Peter Knight. I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you possibly can. And today it's about driving the ball better and further. So better is further and straighter. So you can have your cake and eat it too. And if you hit the subscribe button and the gray bell notification icon, then you won't miss any of these videos. And I'll look forward to helping you with your golf. Using this club can seem like such hard work. You know, on the driving range, you might hit 10 or 20 shots <coughs> in a row and might make you cough, but more likely, it's gonna make you feel really tired because a lot of times when players are hitting drivers, not just on the range, but on the golf course as well, they're wasting energy. So what we need for an efficient swing is movement that's going to work in sequence really, really well. And that's what I wanna talk about today for you. So it's pretty clear that we know the lower body needs to lead the downswing, but we need to add a bit more detail to that. So from the top of my backswing, my lower body's turned the least amount, my upper body's turned more than my lower body, then my arms have moved through a bigger range and finally the clubs moved through the greatest range from address. In the downswing, everything is going to catch up eventually. My upper body will catch up to my lower body, my arms will catch up to my upper body and the club's gonna catch up to everything else. The timing of that is critical. Now what most players will tend to do is when they begin the downswing is that as the club begins to catch up with the arms or hands quite early in the downswing. So a huge source of power is lost. Now in an attempt to try and gain back that power or retain power or just to hit the ball a little bit further, players will work harder with hands and arms and then that creates the fatigue. As well as being out of sequence, it's also gonna mess up other things in the swing too. And you find that not only do you have shots that fly shorter distances than an efficient movement, but you also find they're gonna fly offline more often too. An efficient movement, you'll still hit the ball offline. We're human, but the percentages are gonna be a lot higher when the movement is well sequenced. So let's have a look and see what that sequence of movement should be. From the top of my backswing, my lower body is leading the movement. So now it actually helps set up a feeling of torque between my lower body and my upper body. Then as I swing down, my upper body and my arms and the club are slowly catching up until just after impact, everything comes into line. Now the feeling is when you're striking the ball well, there's a, this sensation of almost effortlessness. So if I'm out of sequence, arms working too hard, and I'm, I feel like I've, I've thrown myself off balance, I've wasted a lot of effort, and don't get the reward from it. Here's the interesting thing. When the club swings down, my hips are going to reach their maximum speed when they're about square. So from the top of the swing, when my hips have got to about here, this is where they're working at their maximum pace. My upper body's working at its maximum pace just after that, my arms just after that, and then the club head at impact. So if my hips are working at their maximum speed when, when I'm here in the downswing, after that they're beginning to slow down. So in fact, everything in order is slowing down at impact except for my club head. In fact, I need everything to slow down in order to transfer momentum to that club head. So the feeling can be, from the top of my swing, here's the effort, just in that short time, but most of the effort's gonna come from lower body. Then as I get close to impact, it's almost like I've got so much momentum, I can switch off and the club will swing through fairly smoothly, fairly easily. It'll, it'll gain maximum speed, but I don't have to feel like I'm driving everything through impact or accelerating my body and accelerating my arms through impact. It's not how transfer of momentum works. 
And in fact, even if your swing's out of order a little bit, your arms will still be slowing down through impact. The reason is that the, as the club swings into line with your arm, that has to happen. So let's see if we can make it an effortless swing and put all of this good idea into place. So that worked pretty well. First shot of the day, it's gone pretty straight and didn't feel like I'd put too much effort in. So practice that, getting the feeling first at low speed, not necessarily with the big dog, and you'll find that you'll start to hit the ball better and further.